In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to browse as a guest in guest mode in Google Chrome. Guest mode is actually quite similar to incognito mode, in the sense that you can open up this blank window with no cache data or cookies or anything, so that no website will recognize you. And then, when you close that window, all of your cookies and browsing history and everything will be deleted. But the difference between these two modes is, in incognito mode, all of your bookmarks and saved passwords and settings and everything will still be available in that window. But in guest mode, none of that's there. It's just like a completely blank window. So, incognito mode is really the best option if it's just you using your computer and you want to do something in incognito mode. But guest mode is really handy for if someone else is using your computer and they don't want all of your passwords and settings and bookmarks and everything getting in the way. But now that you know a bit about guest mode and what it does, let's go ahead and open guest mode. Guest mode on a Chromebook is actually quite different to guest mode in Google Chrome on a Windows or Mac computer. So if you're using a Chromebook and you want to open guest mode, Timmy actually has an entire different video about using guest mode on a Chromebook. But if you're on a Windows or Mac computer with Google Chrome, you just need to come up to the top right hand corner here and click on your profile picture here in the top right hand corner to bring up this menu. And now if you have other Chrome profiles, you'll see them all listed along here. And below that will be a guest button. So to open guest mode, you just need to go ahead and click guest here. And now it will open up this separate window in guest mode. So as you can see, in this window, the new tab page says you're browsing as a guest and explains a bit about what guest mode does. And you'll always have this badge up in the top right hand corner here, explaining that this is the guest mode window. So that's how you know it's the guest mode window. And if you click the minimize button to minimize that, your regular Chrome window with all your normal settings and bookmarks and passwords and everything, will always still be here for you. So if you need to switch back and forth between guest mode and your normal Chrome window, you can do that quite easily. And when you want to go back to the guest mode window, there'll be a new icon added, a new Chrome icon. So you can just click that and it'll pull the guest mode window back up. And now in this guest mode window, if we go to a website, like maybe google.com, for example, as you'll see here, it says sign in to Google because you won't be signed in to any of your regular accounts. So now you could go ahead and use Google or whatever website without signing in if you wanted to. So just the non signed in version of the website. Or if you wanted to, you could actually sign in with a different Google account or a different account to any other website. And then you could have two different accounts signed in in the two different windows. So you can go ahead and do that. And as you'll see, none of your saved passwords or bookmarks or settings or anything like that will be in here because it's guest mode. So you can do whatever you want in here and you can really keep the guest mode window open for as long as you want to. But when you're finally ready to close the guest mode window and no longer be in guest mode, all you need to do is click the regular cross in the top corner of the screen to close the window, just like you normally would. And now the guest mode window will be closed. So any history or cookies or anything from the guest mode window will now be deleted. And you'll just be looking at your regular Chrome window. So. Hopefully you found this video helpful and Tim will see you in the next one.